Tennis is one of the world's most watched and admired sports, with millions of people watching their favorite tennis players compete in tournaments. However, during professional games, the tennis ball is in play for less than 20% of any match. At an amateur level, we can expect the tennis ball to be in play for less than the professional level, and for complete beginners, the ball can be in play for an insignificant amount of time. To compensate for the lack of skill, amateur and beginner players will usually have a larger inventory of tennis balls at their disposal. However, once all the tennis balls are depleted, these balls will be scattered around the whole court and will need to be collected before the tennis match or lesson can be continued. The aim of this project is to develop an autonomous tennis ball collecting robot, which uses computer vision to detect tennis balls through cameras. The product is intended to be used at the end of tennis sessions to scan around the field, locate and collect tennis balls inside the current court area. We have identified three key acts for this research project hardware development, navigation and localization, and object detection. We have divided these into two sections, a physical system operating in the tennis court, and the software system processing the sensor signals. When the this project, we set the goal of building a reliable and robust robotic platform able to navigate itself within the tennis court environment. To safely and accurately navigate itself, a reliable control system would also need to be designed. Prior to designing the robotic platform, the team conducted research on existing ball collecting robots. The team noticed some familiarities between these robots. For example, they all either used a sweeping or rolling motorized mechanism for ball collection. This constrained the robotic platform to being short in height and long in length. This in turn constrained the ball capacities of these devices and it was not possible for the tennis balls to be stacked one upon each other. These robots also required four motors, two for the dry wheels and two for the collection mechanism. The finalized mechanical concept of the robotic platform involved the integration of the ball collection mechanism with the drive wheels. This meant only two motors would be required and allowed for balls to be stacked one upon another. The platform works by driving towards the tennis balls. The balls will be guided into the tunnel by the robot. The tennis balls will make contact with the wheels and the side walls of the robot. Here, the tennis balls are picked up by the wheel and traversed along the tunnel until it reaches the top and falls into the storage compartment. The mechanical platform can be described as a differential drive robot, where the relationship between the two wheel velocities dictate the direction and angle which the robot will travel. The dynamics of the robot are described by the following equations shown on the screen. The Jetson Nano microcomputer acts as a top-level controller, and these equations are calculated on board at real time. The desired speeds of each wheel are sent to the Arduino, which control the motors. A PSP controller software is installed on board, allowing for it to convert the desired speeds of each wheel into voltages for the two motor drivers. The PSP controller was required for this project due to the friction-based collection mechanism chosen, which would require a larger control effort in order for the wheels to maintain the desired wheel velocities when a ball is in the collection mechanism. The team chose to use two 12-volt DC motors with optical encoders. The optical encoders would compute the speed of each wheel. However, the team discovered that a low-pass filter with a cutoff frequency at 25Hz would also need to be implemented due to the coarse output response attributed to the high frequencies between discrete levels. When defining this project, we set the goal of developing a robust and reliable object detection, able to detect balls in different environments, which potentially include the grass course, clay course, hard course, and astroturf course. The team initially took inspiration from existing similar projects and developed a blob detection software. Although this was able to recognize tennis balls, it was not robust and required many tuning for different background colors. Thus, coupled with the inability of blob detection to recognize clusters of tennis balls, made this approach unable to meet our design objectives. However, unlike the previous projects, we were not limited by hardware, as our choice of microcomputer, the Jessenado, had a dedicated NVIDIA GPU this allowed us to explore convolutional neural networks as an alternative. The team implemented a ULO v3 tiny model, which was chosen due to the robustness and the potential of a higher performance. When tennis balls are detected, the ULO model will output the following array, which gives the top and bottom corner coordinates, as well as the predictability score. The robot then drives towards the closest ball. A P controller on the yaw angle was used, where the difference in X coordinates to the image center determines the difference in the speed velocities of the two wheels. The operating logic of the P controller is shown as the right bottom corner. Thank you very much.